Is anybody here? Anybody at all? Welcome to the costume shop where the dead become the living, the living become the dead, where the costumes are alive and ready to devour you all. And now that you have stepped inside, you have sealed your doom. Morning, Franklin. Hoffman, that you're a customer. What? No customer's gonna buy a Halloween costume at nine o'clock in the morning. So I didn't scare you? Uh, oh, with that? Uh, no, but that's because monologuing villains aren't scary to me. Fear is subjective, like comedy. Some people are funny, some people are scary. You're neither. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, just like how some people have a job here and some people don't. Like you, you're fired. <laughs> See, that was funny. Great. Well, if me screaming and cursing doesn't elicit a reaction from you, what does? Um, oh, well, the first time I came in the costume shop and all the costumes came to life and chased me, uh, that was scary. Or that time you removed your hood and you were an actual skeleton monster with a skull for a face, that was scary. But telling me I'm doomed? People in the subway yell at me every day. <laughs> okay, well, anything I can do to make it more scary? Uh, uh I don't know, strobe lights? <laughs> well, I have been watching old videos, looking up things online, and one thing I did notice about some about it is like a jump scare. Oh yeah. It scares uh, stupid people or something. Yes, it does. What, what does that look like? Uh, something like this. My <laughs> <laughs> chest, Franklin. <laughs> Good morning, Hunter. We have a bunch of new products. Start stacking them once you clock in. Oh, hang on a sec. Hunter, uh, yeah. take a look at Franklin's face. Does he look scary to you? The makeup kind of scary. No, we've been over this. That's just his face. Oh, um, his face is kind of uneven then. What? I thought I got it right. Wait, are you actually wearing makeup? Think I wake up this beautiful. Wait, why does a skeleton with a skull for a head needs to wear skeleton makeup over their skull? In case the spontaneous Day of the Dead party happens, so I don't know. Oh, uh, Finn, there's something important I need to talk to you about. Yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on a sec. Uh, Kelsey just texted me. She says, I'll be here in two minutes. Don't talk to me. So probably a good idea not to do that. You know how she gets it. <laughs> oh! What the hell are you doing down there? You scared me! That scared you. I told you not to talk to me. You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. Go ahead. Oh, not you. I told you. She didn't want to talk to her today. Shut up. You're not my dad, and your eyeliner's uneven, and you're fired. Okay! No, no. Can you just watch the cash while I go find your Yeah, of course. Kelsey, don't get on the bus! and then when you couldn't find any more food, you ate Hunter. <laughs> it was so dark in there. I mean, luckily I survived the night by eating the food that Chekhov ate, but in hindsight, I probably could have just unzipped the back. <sighs> uh, okay. Well, uh, how about this one then? Last night, while well, you were out, an owl flew in here and uh, snatched one of my fingers and took it upstairs. Maybe if you take me off the hanger, we can go look for it. <laughs> how about that one? I, no, I don't believe that one at all. Oh, how could you tell I was lying? You started your sentence with, how about this one, indicating you were lying. That's a terrible <laughs> action. <laughs> Oh shit, is that a customer? Yeah, they're, they're coming. Check off, be quiet. If we need you, we'll them. Just do that thing. Ow! Was that supposed to scare me? This animatronics gets worse every year. I don't remember getting promoted. Um, welcome to the costume shop. How can I help you? Yeah, I want to return this. You sold it to me yesterday, and as soon as I got it home, it broke. It's supposed to spin its head around and talk and scare children off my porch. Yeah, I tried to turn every dial and every switch, and nothing happened. Let's take a look here. Did you try putting batteries in it? Oh, like 
I'm supposed to know I need to put batteries in everything I buy. There's a tag here that says batteries not included. <laughs> um, you know what? Um, I can actually just get some batteries now or, you know, just put some batteries in it yourself. No, listen. When I buy something, yes. I expect it to work. Okay. I don't have batteries at home, so what are you going to do about it? Well, yesterday when I sold this to you, I asked if you would need batteries, and you called me a corporate whore. Yeah. But you know what? I'll just uh, have some batteries ready. No, out. it's already too late. I'm already in a fervor. A uh, what? A fervor. Okay. A rage. All right. I'm pissed. Okay. 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 Just give me a refund. All right. Uh, do you have the receipt? I don't know. It's one thing after another with you people. How am I supposed to know your receipt for a stupid refund? It says it right here. I can't see that. Listen, I tried this thing all the way down here. Mm -hmm. I'm not driving it all the way back home to find a stupid receipt just to bring it back okay, here. Okay, 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 okay. Um, how about this? Um, you can leave the skeleton here and then go home and get the receipt and make sure it's the correct one. And when you bring it back, I'll give you a full refund plus 20% off your next purchase. 25. 25% off your next purchase! I have to say that. This guy doesn't know how to do a refund. Well, do you have a receipt? Oh, freaking retail people! <laughs> freaking <laughs> Sorry. Oh, sorry. It's okay, I'll get it. Sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 don't worry about it. Um, hey, you know what might cheer you up? Maybe one of my impressions. Maybe. Okay, okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. I don't have a receipt. <laughs> Retail people don't know what they're doing. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Now, now do Franklin. Uh, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Hunter. Yeah? Broom. What? Oh. A kid would lose his head if it wasn't attached. Uh, Finn, can I talk to you for a moment? Yeah, sure. What's up? Well, I've been doing a lot of thinking. You've been doing such a fantastic job. I want to promote you to manager. Why? What's actually happening? Well, I mean, there is a retail inspector coming to see the shop, make sure everything's in place, the employees, no dust, no rat king. I'm sorry, what kind of rat? It's an example. So I thought, I just have so much responsibility to myself. I. I just do everything around here, and I thought, well, who better to help me out than you? You'd be the face of the store. Is that because you don't have a face? Ah! Don't say that again. Okay. <laughs> but yes, that's true. Surely there's someone more qualified than me. Uh, what about Kelsey? She's head cashier. Kelsey, Kelsey called me a fascist the other day for offering her time off. <laughs> she said I didn't have to tell her what to do with her time. So she's like second on the list. Okay, well, what about Hunter? I asked Hunter to get a room. It's right there. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for this. I mean, it's a lot to manage, like the employees and the costumes and now running the register and the paperwork. And I wouldn't be picking you if I didn't think you had what it took. You have dealt with the vengeful demons, yeah. giant monsters. Pretty sure you can handle running a retail store. Now, if you excuse me, still need to find Kelsey. The retail inspector should be here in like five minutes, so good luck. What? I thought it was like next month. Hey, and I never agreed to be the manager yet. Uh, come on. So, are we going to throw you a party? For what? Your promotion. I've got a pretty sweet party plan. First, we'll play seven minutes in heaven, and then we'll extend the game all night. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Stop it. First of all, I did not agree to be the manager. Secondly, uh, now I'm super uncomfortable, so I'm just gonna... Wait, where did all that garbage come from? Oh, last night we threw a party that was dancing? Booze? Whoa, where did you get the booze? booze? Whoa, where did you get the booze from? Oh, uh, the delivery guy. He wondered why a bunch of costumes were throwing a party. Uh, we told him we were an improv troupe. Humans will believe anything. <laughs> can you, can you, can you, I don't, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah. That is just gross, man. Did you just eat that chip? You're gross. Oh. Chips are fine. I will have you know, I am made of the finest fabrics in hypoallergenic latex substitute. If you take me off the rack, I'll show you. Nah, I'm not falling for that. Again. <laughs> so tell me, Franklin constructed you with magic, right? Yeah. 
So did he also give you that, this weird, insane persona you have? Hunter, I have been alone, in this shop, in this room, on this rack, on this hanger, every night. I have time to myself, too much time. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, bud. I'm sure some crazy psycho will buy you one day. Oh, you're just saying that. Uh oh. Was that was that Franklin? Oh, oh no. Franklin. <laughs> Franklin. <laughs> I just killed Franklin. <laughs> no witnesses. What? No witnesses! Wait! You know that's just a prop, right? That's not the real Franklin. Oh yeah, right. Like I'm gonna fall for that again. Uh. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh. Stop. Breathe. That is the real Franklin. And you have murdered him! You are going to jail! No. Stop! Stop! If you help me, get me off this hanger. Perhaps I can hide the body for you. No, just because I know Franklin doesn't mean I'm going to ignore store rules. No photos or... Number videos. five. Oh. Don't let Jekyll <laughs> off the hanger. Okay. Alright? Fine. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh no, his leg came off. <laughs> okay, uh, oh, that's the Okay, so I'm gonna hide him behind me, and and we're not gonna tell anyone. I'm gonna see if I can find a archaeologist, right? They do with bones, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Who am I to tell? Don't tell anyone. Oh, hey, Kelsey. Hunter killed Franklin. <laughs> Franklin's right here. <laughs> You're right. I'm lying. Someone should just lock me up. <laughs> <laughs> Kelsey stepped into my office. <laughs> we have to work on your attitude. What the fuck is wrong with my attitude? God, you both ask and answer that question. <laughs> you are constantly rude, opinionated, and you don't take shit from anyone. Well, as in most jobs, that would be a problem. I welcome it. Thank you. But yesterday you threw a chair at my head. You had a spider on your face. So you throw a chair? Well, I didn't have any bug spray. You were gonna spray. <laughs> okay, how about this? Let's try smiling, okay? Let's just, let's just try that. Can't, mouth's busy. Give me the go. Ew, in your hand? I'm not afraid to remove your jaw. <laughs> and I'm the one with anger problems. <gasps> Thank you, Kettle, I'm a very black pot. <laughs> you have pot? What? No! No, just let's try that smiling thing again. Fine. How's this? <laughs> stop, 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 stop. That's just terrifying. Um, uh, let's try breathing exercises, huh, shall we? How about the next time that something angers or irritates you? Oh my gosh. You just breathe and release it, okay? We're gonna use this balloon as an example. The balloon is your anger. Contain it. Yelling at me, okay? You just breathe it out. Well, Edgar Allen Boner, I have deep-seated feelings of anger due to the work conditions I'm in, a struggling need to get out of this city, and you still won't let me play the Rugrats theme on your xylophone bones. But yeah, a deep breath is gonna help me out! It's meant to be a series of deep breaths! Uh, Franklin, uh, does the retail inspector wear a fedora and a long coat? I don't know what they're wearing, why? Because someone's getting out of their car that looks like that. What? Where's Finn? I haven't used magic to make myself look human yet. 
Too late! Oh, hello, Franklin. <laughs> Grace! Nice to see you. Oh, what happened to your face? Ah! Ugh. Makeup? Yep, it's uh, it's makeup. Just oh. testing out the products for uh, all them kids for on Halloween. That uh, was it. How do I look? Great, great. Yeah, it's it's pretty realistic. <laughs> so uh, let's get this underway, shall we? Yeah. Well, uh, we've got a lot of improvements, so hopefully we do better. Listen, Franklin. We've known each other a while, and I've been able to pull some strings for you in the past because I like this personal business you're running. But I have some people after me this year, and if everything isn't completely up to code, I'm going to have to shut this place down. Are you serious, Graves? Gravely serious. <laughs> but hey, if you've made the changes from last year, there should be nothing to worry about. <laughs> changes? Yeah, right! <laughs> Did that costume just talk? <laughs> yeah! Because it's an actor I hired to show off the costume! <laughs> well, shouldn't someone let him off that rat? Yes! <laughs> yes! We mean no! We mean yes. No! He's gonna stay up there until he learns to be a civil costume! Dad! Jacket. Uh, check out where's my jacket? Uh, someone put a bunch of junk behind my rack. Maybe if you move me, or you could just go right around. That works too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Esther, no! I'm sorry. I'll call you mother. I swear. No! <laughs> wow, what was that? <laughs> uh. My uh, my stepmother. I thought thought this thing was her. You've never mentioned her before. She's a horrifying woman. She's always trying to watch me fail. She constantly brings it up at family dinners. Oh, Frankie, how are sales doing this year? Frankie, did you learn to stand up yet? Well, did you? <laughs> did you learn to stand? <laughs> what do you think? Okay, all right, who the hell is playing mind games with Hunter, huh? Because that's a game nobody wins, except me. <laughs> Check off, how did Franklin get back there? Uh, it just slid <laughs> over there. <laughs> what? Why, why would it do that? <laughs> I'm just lying to you. <laughs> it got up and walked. <laughs> <laughs> but, but why? Well, maybe it's not really dead. Maybe it's up for revenge. Ah! Something. You said not to talk to you this morning. Don't worry about that anymore. I'm working on my anger. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, are you angry at her? <laughs> I'm just trying to be all friendly like. Oh, I'm you, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get this place cleaned up for the retail inspector. So what's with all the shouting? And let me remind you, I'm under a lot of stress right now and haven't screamed for six and a half minutes. Oh. So whatever this is, better not piss me off. Sure. <laughs> I killed Franklin. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, okay, well, I was I was pack picking up boxes and putting them here, and I was gonna unbox them, but then I tripped and. Knock the boxes over at Franklin and now he's lay there like a 
pile of bones. <laughs> Franklin's not dead. I just saw him this morning. Then why does the skeleton have Franklin's jacket? I don't know. Maybe he, maybe he took it off. And maybe he put it over here. Listen, do you want me to prove it to you? I'll give him a call right now. Yeah, do it. Call him. Oh my god! You killed him! <laughs> <laughs> you guys are gonna go to jail! I give you seven days! I give him like three! <laughs> what? I can't go to jail! Not for killing a skeleton! This isn't Dungeons and Dragons, you stupid talking swamp monster! This is real life! Everybody calm down! Take some deep breaths. No one knows about this yet. No! Hello? Frankie? It's Esther, your stepmother. Hey, it's Franklin. What's up? <laughs> well, I just wanted to say hello. Ask how things are going. You haven't been home in a few months now. So I decided it would be a nice surprise to show up there and check out how work is going. I'll be at the store in a few minutes. Sounds good. No, wait! <laughs> that was Franklin's mother! Man, we're so screwed! She's on her way here right now! But Franklin's unavailable! Just deep breaths! Something will turn to help us out! What are we breathing about? <laughs> okay, so we have a problem with the body. It's a dead body. It's a really, really big... <laughs> what are you talking about? Hunter, that's not a dead body. That's a plastic skeleton. Someone returned it this morning. You were there, don't you remember? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that we've got that all figured out, Franklin's mother is on her way here. But she can't come here now. Franklin's busy upstairs with the retail inspector. Wait, what? Huh? I said Franklin's busy upstairs with the hang on. Did you say a dead body? Maybe. Do you think you killed Franklin? It was a metaphor. <laughs> Huh? You know that comparison when you use like or as? That's a simile. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? We can't deal with this now. This retail inspector can shut down the store. Do you know what that means? We're all out of a job. You're out of a job, you're out of a job, someone will throw you to the wind, I don't know. And we can't have our employees running around like chickens who found out that their hatchery is closing down. Oh, that's a metaphor, yeah. <laughs> what does it matter? What do we do? Well, I don't know, why are you asking me? Because this situation right here needs to be managed. Yeah. And you're the manager. <laughs> what? How did you even hear about that? And I did not agree to be the manager, okay? And this is just why. Because this kind of nonsense happens every day and I cannot be the one person to manage everything. Finn. What? Take a deep breath. <sighs> An actual calm deep breath. <laughs> so do you realize? You're getting stressed just like Franklin. Oh no. <laughs> and the one thing that two of you don't realize you have in common is that neither of you know when to stop and ask for help. Well that's what we're here for. We're here to help you. So we have Franklin's mother on her way and he's not available. What do you need us to do, Finn? Um, have any of you seen the movie Weekend at My Dead Boss's House 3? <laughs> Just bear with me. Okay, so in this movie, these two 70s guys, their, their boss dies, but they puppeteer his body around as if he's alive, and he gets to go to sick parties and have sex with women and stuff. Oh, sick parties, you say? Sex with women. <laughs> and, and you want us to try this now? Are you crazy? You have to be crazy to work here. Kelsey, keep an eye on the door. Make sure that a stepmother, mother, whoever she is, doesn't arrive until we're ready. Um, Hunter, you're good at impressions, right? I suppose. Cool, you will be puppeteering Franklin. What? And let's check us. Right out to hide everybody. Oh, no. You got it, Chief! He's disarmed. So, how is the employee situation working out? Uh, great. I hired a cashier, a stock boy. Just promoted into manager. So, uh, how am I doing? Do I get an A plus? 
we don't use that kind of grading system. But no, you don't get an A+. Yeah. I think it was back to school. What was school like for you as a child? I went to St. Lucifer's Primary School for the Deranged. I was out within a year. <laughs> oh, you graduated early. No, I skipped before everyone else. Ah, <laughs> oh, how about we check out that front desk? Uh, just watch your head, uh, your feet. Wait, my feet? Yeah, the snakes. There are snakes here? Did I say snakes? You did. I meant good snakes. Ah, <laughs> uh, the snakes that eat mice. <laughs> There's no mice here. I just have, I have snakes in a case, just in case, so it's in a, the just in, okay, okay. Uh, Franklin, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, Finn, uh, this is Graves, the retail inspector, She's just about to go to the front desk and talk about the makeup I'm wearing. Right, that face makeup that you always wear. I don't always wear it. Why you told me you were it? Yeah, he's a delight. <laughs> okay, we're about to inspect the checkout desk. I've got a better idea. Um, Franklin, why don't you show Graves the scratching pumpkins in the basement? Oh, that is a fantastic idea. Graves, you are gonna love them. They are loud, annoying. Oh gee, what's that like? I'll show you. <laughs> okay, that'll keep them busy for like five more minutes. Kelsey, how about Hunter? Hunter, get back here. I'm gonna keep an eye on the door. I don't know if I can do this. I'm not gonna do impressions of <laughs> Franklin! What? Okay. You do impressions for us all the time. Not in front of people of parental authority. <laughs> I'll help you out. Close your eyes. Okay. Picture a beach okay. covered in dead people. And you're the one who put those people there. I did? <laughs> and you're holding a trophy for the who can kill the most people competition. Oh. <laughs> now, open your eyes. <laughs> I feel evil. Good. You guys, she's here. Keep it on the door. <laughs> Mother, I'm Kelsey. Call me Esther, dear. I'm his stepmother. Oh, sorry. Uh, hey, whatever happened to Franklin's actual mother? She uh, exploded on impact. No, I'm sorry. Where is my little Frankie? Frankie? Oh, yeah! Ever since he was little, we called him our little Frankie. He used to use his My First Overlord toy set to build these monsters to be his friend. And now that he's still, he's older, he still does his shit by <laughs> Well, it makes him happy. And we're happy to be working with him. <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, there something wrong with your face? No, ma'am. I'm smiling. <laughs> well, you've got some shit in your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Now, where's my Frankie? Here I am. <laughs> Frankie, it's so good. No, 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 no hugs, no hugs. I have, uh, <coughs> diarrhea. <laughs> it's very nice to be here. You know what always makes me smile? What? That song and dance you used to do as a child. Uh, song and... Wait, what? Dance? Oh yeah, you got to see this. He danced around like a little monster, singing about bubbling up bugs. Do it now. Uh, yeah, right here. <laughs> do it. I'm a little monster, hear me roar, <laughs> stomping all over the bug bill floor. When I eat them, they will die. Their souls are gone, and I watch them cry. <laughs> <laughs> What? 
Do I look like a pair of velvet couch cushions pushed together? <laughs> <laughs> no. Then why are you trying to fuck with me? <laughs> it's clearly a plastic skeleton you put a pair of sunglasses on. Control uh -huh. like this idiot! <laughs> you, you mean you knew? Yeah. <laughs> but, but I did the whole song and danced perfectly. <laughs> and you were great. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your Oscar. <laughs> Perfect for your air head. Oh. Now, find me my son, or I will feast on your soul. Ooh. Uh, he's a bit preoccupied at the moment, but let me find our manager and I'll find him for you. Finn, that's you! Yeah. Hi, I'm Finn, the manager, apparently. Um, I, Franklin's just busy with some prior company. Why don't I go get him for you? Uh, Hunter! Why don't you do some more impressions for everybody? Uh, uh, I got it. Okay, um, I'm gonna go find the manager. Hunter, why don't you do some more impressions of, of people? That's not the manager for! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I am still not convinced that painting wasn't staring at me. Oh, and I am not liking the looks of these walls. What's wrong with them? Well, the molding looks like it has mold on it. And there's just drywall between these bricks. And there's nails sticking out of the paneling. That's how it's supposed to be. Right, but you use hardware nails. Not human nails. It's <laughs> a joke. Huh. What kind of insulation does the building have? It's the really bad stuff. Asbestos? Not that. <laughs> uh, it's the Pink Panther stuff. <laughs> Do you mean fiberglass insulation? That's it. <laughs> For good what? what? What's wrong? What? Nothing. Everything's <laughs> <laughs> fine. <laughs> Don't like the way you said that. Yeah, I don't like it either. Did something happen? We're just dealing with, with a customer dispute right now. One of the female variety? <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> <laughs> the sun will come out <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Venture bottoms are that tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> Stepmom just showed up out of nowhere. Right now, Hunter's trying to distract her with some impressions. So I says to him, so I says to him, bada boom, bada big, and now you're pregnant. <laughs> what? Shit. Okay, I'm gonna get something to distract Esther until Grace is out of the way. Wait, why are we trying to hide these two from each other again? Because Esther is also a skeletal being, so when Grace sees her, she's sure to freak the hell out. Secondly, all Esther does is speak negatively about me, so if Grace hears any of that, she's sure to shut us down. And thirdly, Sorry, no, thirdly, you're the manager, so we'll manage this. I, I'm not the manager yet, okay? This is way beyond my pay grade. I mean, Kelsey's just more ready to scream at someone, check us horny, and this woman's just here, not to do with your mom, too. Is that mom? Oh, what the hell? Yes, okay. <laughs> Paid vacation time. Paid vacation time? Three days, baby. Then Friday can be pizza day? Friday's always pizza day. What? Then who's been eating all the pizza? Check out! Fine! <laughs> I will take care of the retail inspector. Oh, by the way, Hunter knocked some boxes on top of a plastic skeleton and thinks he killed you. Enjoy! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, Franklin just had to go take care of some customers, but uh, he'll be back in a moment. Great. Say, you're a, you're a retail inspector, right? Yes, <laughs> I am. Cool. Hey, um, what's a rat king? Oh, um, a rat king is when a bunch of rats get their tails twisted together with a sap or gum or something sticky, so, so they're stuck like that. And they just have to move as one furry mass. That sounds horrifying. Yes, it is. Is this something that is relevant to this business? <laughs> I want to say no. <laughs> so say it. 
I'm not sure that I can. <laughs> really hard for me, kid. But wait, where are you going? I'm almost finished this inspection and I need to follow up the results with Franklin. Uh, don't, don't go downstairs just yet. Uh, maybe there's something I can do for you. <laughs> what? Uh -huh. No! Yeah, that was worth a shot. <laughs> okay, Kelsey, you've been a cashier for a while now. What's the most foolish person you ever talked to? Oh, oh good. I don't know. I mean, like, every single one of my customers have been so wise. Oh, I got it. Um, one time, a customer asked me what time the 2 o'clock sale was going to be at. <laughs> <laughs> I got so pissed. It was amazing. <laughs> but now, frankly, won't let me be mad anymore. Well, being pissed sometimes can be good for you. Otherwise, if you bottle it up, you may explode. And a few sparks here and there, it's better than an explosion. Yeah, you're right. That was really inspirational. You should be a motivational speaker. Actually, I'm an accountant. Yes, Daruna Lovely Surprise. Thank you. Oh. So good to see you. It's Franklin. I hope my uh, staff has been treating you <laughs> nicely. Yeah, I like them all. Especially this one right here. Kelsey remind me of myself when I was younger. Bitter and full of eggs. <laughs> oh, this place has changed. Last time I was here, it was a small little retail store. Now look how big it is. You took over the building next door to expand, I'm guessing? Yeah, we didn't need that as shopper's drug market. No, too many left. <laughs> uh, here, I got you a drink. Cool. Uh, drink up and we can go on a tour. Demo mode? Huh. <laughs> oh, oh what the hell was that for? Panic! I panicked! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Esther, I'm so sorry! What the heck was that shit about? <laughs> I'm sorry! Okay, there was a retail inspector and I was trying to make sure that this place wasn't shut down and you always say all these negative things about me and I was just trying to look better than I actually am. I didn't see you. Franklin. You don't have to pretend to be successful for me. I don't? No. You always see a finger in my eyes. <laughs> what? I'm your stepmother. Who cares what I think? Your father is proud of what you do. And he's your real flesh and blood. Or rather bone and marrow. <laughs> but you and I, we can have a relationship where I think your hair will look better at the end of a pipe. <laughs> and I would remove your jaw with my bare hands. As long as we understand each other. <laughs> I'll see you again soon. I'll be waiting. Does anybody know where I can get a bone saw from? I am. <laughs> She's awake. I mean, shit. She's awake. Uh, uh, uh. I'm natural. natural. One of you club me in the head? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. For someone to do that, they would be totally insane. Right, Hunter? Uh... I don't know. <laughs> uh, the lights flickered. You uh, probably tripped and uh, hit your head. What happened to the robot? What robot? Okay. Well, um, since you're all here, I can let you know that the inspection is complete. 
and I am so, so happy to say that I have to shut this place down. What? What? <laughs> Look, I, I like you guys, and, and I like this store, but... Okay, there's obvious structural damage in the basement from that weird giant pot you have. I knew he had pot. <laughs> My whole dream. The costumes look like they've been here for years and never touched. The windows are boarded up. Oh, that, that's for atmosphere. It's a safety violation, is what it is. Having exposed wood and inadequate lighting. The neighbors have complained about noises during the night. Um, ah, loud music and laughing that sounds like parties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there may or may not be a rat king living in the store. I was talking what? about no, before. that was a joke. It's a joke. There's no rat king whatsoever in the store. <laughs> a haunted Halloween store. Really? Like, actually haunted? <laughs> yeah. Anything else? Well, Franklin's not wearing any makeup. Franklin's an actual skeleton monster from another dimension who came here to Earth to open the store and sell costumes to people, like his friends, who as, are, and the costumes are alive. As one does. <laughs> and there was a robot here before. It wasn't a robot, it was Franklin's stepmother, who's also a talking skeleton monster from the same dimension. Oh, well, she would be. And Chekhov isn't an actor in a costume. It's the costume itself that's been brought to life. And that Rat King was a uh, prop, let's just say. But that's the real reason that the floorboards are creaky and there's boards on the windows. We have to make this place look like a haunted house. Otherwise, people are going to be, like, freaked out by the weird paranormal stuff that happens here. Sorry, you can obviously go, but if you do need to shut us down, please don't tell anyone. I can't believe it. You guys got me so good! <laughs> what? Why didn't you tell me that this was a haunted house experience with a retail store? Oh, my kids love this kind of stuff. I could have filed you with an attraction certificate and we wouldn't have had to go through all of this. Oh, Franklin, <laughs> have you been setting this up for years? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think there's some confusion going on. No, there. you can forget about when I said this place is closed. <laughs> I will notify my team of this change and you'll be good to go. You know, now that I think about it, it was really exciting. <laughs> I mean, everything was planned really well. You are a great employee. No, but you're not. Now, oh, whatever, I'll just accept that. <laughs> oh, and this guy, this guy is a great actor. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> you know, he deserves a promotion or something. You know what? You're right. Come oh. on, Chekhov. Time to let go oh. of that hanger. My time has come! I can finally be thrown my life! Oh. 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 Are you okay? Oh, I'm okay! I'm okay! I can, I can stand like Franklin learned. Oh my god! <laughs> the surprise of the day. I mean, I'll have to discard all of these notes, but the next time I come by, I will see about getting you an attractions grant. You can upgrade this place, add more special effects. <laughs> In the meantime, I would like to take you all out to dinner. 
Hope you like all you paint. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, I can feel the tingles in my butt! <laughs> Yeah, nice going, manager. Hey, I'm not the manager. Not yet. But I'm thinking about it, okay? There is a uh, one last thing, though. Hunter, step into my office. Oh, no. <clears throat> Did you think you killed me? A being of immense power. Who handles your paycheck? Yeah. <laughs> Clean this all up. Well, I mean, I guess other than this mess I now have to clean up, everything wrapped up pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing to worry How can I help you? Yeah, I found my receipt. Can I get my refund one already? This is for Shoppers Drug Mart. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's for this store. It says Shoppers Drug Mart on it. Well, whatever. I got the wrong receipt. Can you just get this over with, please? No! No, we can't just get this over with. You can't return an item that has nothing wrong with it with a receipt for a different store and then expect to get your money back plus a discount that I offered to try and be nice so you would bring back the right receipt. Listen, I'm in a hurry and I want my $8 back, so what are you going to do about it? <laughs> what are we going to do about it? First you try to return an item that has nothing wrong with it, then yell at us because you can't follow store rules. And despite this awesome guy right here, trying to get you a great discount for next time, you don't have the common decency to look for the right receipt? No, you are not going to get any service. We are not your slaves. And guess what? The customer is not always right. Not when they don't have a clue how to be a decent human being. We work day in, day out to get this place looking nice for you get you great deals on quality merchandise. And you try to cheat the system to save a couple dollars or cheat someone like crap because of a mistake you made. So why don't you pick up your stupid prop skeleton and take your business somewhere else? Fuck you. I hope you get fired. I want to speak to your manager. <laughs>